Hey everyone, if you enjoy flying your Tiny Whoop or Blade Inductrix as much as I do, then you'll understand the need for a way to charge more of your batteries at one time in order to keep you in the air longer. I've included all the links to everything that you need to purchase in the description below, and all these parts are actually really affordable. So before I get started, if you find this video to be helpful, I'd really appreciate you throwing a thumbs up on it and subscribing to my channel. You can also help me out a ton by simply clicking on the ads that pop up during this video. So it's time for a quick safety moment, and I hate this part as much as you do, but please be cautious while doing this. I claim no responsibility for any of your injuries while using these devices, and LiPo should always be charged on a non-flammable surface, away from people, and of course always supervised. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own serial or balance cable in order to charge the 1S LiPos for your Tiny Whoop or Blade Inductrix. Now one of the key advantages to a serial or balance charging cable is that all of your batteries don't have to be at the same starting voltage like with parallel charging. And the disadvantage is that you do have to make sure that all of your batteries are of the same capacity or milliamp hour and the cable also has to be completely full of LiPos in order to work. If you have 6S uh, serial cable but you only have 5 1S LiPos, you're pretty much SOL. So if I were going to do this, I'd simply purchase one of these cables pre-made for $7 off of Amazon. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is I've received several recent requests in order to make a how-to video. So to get started, here's a list of the items that you're going to need. Again, all the links to each one of these parts is going to be in the description below. You'll need one male balance adapter of your choosing, a 6S adapter, would charge six LiPos at one time, a 3S would charge three, and so on. You also need one female connector that plugs into your LiPo charger. Uh, my charger uses a Dean's connection, but just make sure that you have the correct female adapter in order to plug into your particular charger. You're also going to need the uh, corresponding number of JST 1.25 millimeter female battery connectors. You'll need one of these for each battery that you wish to charge. Finally, you're going to need a soldering iron as well as some heat shrink tubing to finish things up. Now before I get into the setup, I have to reiterate, you can buy this serial adapter cable. It's already made and you can buy it for less money than you can purchase all these components for. Um, there's going to be a link at the end of this video where I talk about that cable and show you where to buy it. This video is only for those of you who either have these parts lying around or who want to make several of these chargers um, or want to make a custom one. You don't necessarily want to charge six batteries at once. Maybe you, your charger is capable of doing ten or maybe it, you only have four LiPos. So get started by soldering the negative lead from one of your female JST connectors to the positive lead of another and continue this process for as many batteries as you would like to charge. If you're making a 6S cable, yours would look like this one shown. And um, you know you can see that there are six female JST connectors that are all soldered in series. Next you're going to solder uh, each lead from the male balance plug cable into each of the connections as shown on this photo. Then solder the female connector that goes to your charger uh, to either side of the balance plug. And finally, just throw some heat shrink tubing over each one of the solder joints so that you can avoid a, a short circuit. And the final product should look something like this. Now again, if you found this video to be helpful, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. As promised, the video shown here on the left is an overview of this cable, and at the end of that, or at the bottom of that video, uh, it has a link showing you where to buy one of these pre-made cables. Uh, the video on the right is for an inexpensive frame upgrade for your Tiny Whoop or Blade Inductrix that I found on Amazon.